Life as We Know It with Tom Walton. Imagine that you live in a metropolitan area that is home to more than half a million people. Imagine further that you put the dog in a kennel, pack up the family in the SUV, and drive out to the airport to fly off on a long-awaited vacation. You reach the airport, but your turn into the entrance is blocked by orange cones and a sign that says, Closed Today. Oops, you wanted to fly on a Tuesday? Sorry. It's like a scene from the movie National Lampoon's Vacation, when Clark Griswold drives his family across country only to find Wally World is shut down for maintenance. Starting September 7, life will imitate art. Not that a Chevy Chase movie qualifies as art. That's the day that American Airlines pulls out of Eugene F. Cran's Toledo Express Airport and daily major carrier passenger service ends at TOL. Americans' departure will leave just Allegiant Airlines. Such is the predicament at Express, and it's an old story. New service comes to town, the community embraces it at first, eventually the airline laments inadequate passenger loads or changing economic conditions, and ultimately it goes away again. Bold prediction here, we will hear the same old excuse that always gets trotted out when this happens. Toledo is just too close to Detroit Metro Airport and its global reach to effectively compete for commercial passenger business. Sorry, not buying it. Other mid-sized airports, which are similarly situated, not far from major air hubs, somehow manage to survive and thrive. Flint Bishop International Airport, only 70 miles northwest of Detroit Metro, is one. Akron Canton Regional Airport, just an hour or so away from Cleveland Hopkins Airport, is another. Akron Canton, despite its proximity to Cleveland, has seven daily arrivals and 10 departures on two major carriers, United and American, and a third smaller airline called Breeze. Flint is served by United, American, and Allegiant, and is having nonstop service added to Boston, Jacksonville, and Savannah Hilton Head. Neither Akron nor Flint hides from its geographical proximity to a big city hub airport. In fact, both exploit it, with marketing that sends a message. Akron Canton's promotional tagline is a better way to go. On your face, Hopkins. Flint pushes an equally telling slogan, not the only way to fly, just a better one. Take that, Metro. The first commercial flight at Toledo Express landed on January 6, 1955. First flight was notable not only for making local history, the Capital Airlines plane carried just one passenger, a pajama salesman from Kew Gardens, New York whose decision to bring his winter line of PJs to Toledo spared local dignitaries the embarrassment of welcoming the first flight with no paying customers. From that day to this, the history of Toledo's airport is a checkered one that includes not just commercial uncertainty, but ambivalent leadership. Regardless, it remains an asset that needs to do better for Toledo. Akron gets it. Flint gets it. I'll bet even Clark Griswold gets it. Life as We Know It is written and hosted by Tom Walton and is a production of WGTE Public Media. Life as We Know It with Tom Walton can be heard on WGTE FM 91 every Monday afternoon during All Things Considered at 5.44 p.m. Or hear past episodes at wgte.org slash life.